Hi peeps, uh, thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to put in a cableway. Uh, there's a link in the description for the mod, uh, including the mod for the snow. I've just got to put some snow down. It's a tropical map. I've got a 5x1 map. Uh, the 5x1 map is a change in the configuration of the game itself. Uh, if you request it, I'll show you how to do that. And that way you get the extra large maps. Um, I've just gone and chosen this particular position. Um, the actual seed of the map generation just gave me a quite nice uh, mountain to be able to do this. Uh, we'll just throw this cable way up through here, up to the top. We'll probably put a midway station so I can continue the actual uh, uh, different parts to the tutorial so you can see how you can go from one side to the other. And we'll probably build a road in here and uh, we can send people by bus into this side so they can use the cable way to get to the city. Obviously you can use trains but sometimes it's quite nice to uh, add a little bit of layout uh, landscaping to add a bit of flavour to the actual game itself so it's more realistic. Okay so to after you've put in the mod um, it will be found for the cable way under the rail. Uh, so if we go to rail you'll see buildings and tracks. So the tracks obviously is the actual cable itself and the buildings that you're going to need to be able to construct it. Now, um, as you can see, uh, I'll select the, uh, I've got it turned on at the moment for the position. As you can, uh, the blinds are visible now. So to turn the blinds on is this one here. So if you need to place the position without having the blinds on, but the lines to be able to, it's a, it's the actual the the blinds or I call them the blinds. I must say it's just a set of lines for to give you the correct direction and the actual uh, the same uh, I suppose one side where it will continuously where you can put all the stations and so the cableway lines up and that's pretty important to make it look right. Uh, the the station itself is just the same as a bus station. You're going to have your cars rock up or your buses rock up to this. People will get out and uh, they'll jump on the, on a gondola. So uh, I've also just quickly note that I've got the account set to infinity. And the reason being is these things are fairly expensive, as you can see, at 232000 for the base station. If you have quite a long cable way and quite a few of them, um, obviously you're going to need to have a uh, fairly good income to be able to put them in. Uh, but so for the demonstration of this tutorial, I've just gone ahead the account and done at infinity. Okay, so you just place the actual, I've got the angle set already up uh, of where I want to send it up in between the trees. You can delete obviously trees, etc. when you put the cable way in. Um, and we're going to have a midway station at the top and we're going to have uh, a pylon on the way up. Uh, so I'll just click the where I want to place it. So I hit the click button. Now the next thing you want to do um, is you want to take that off because you have to configure this first uh, to give you the right positions for everything where it's going to go. Uh, so you go into configuration, just click on it, go to configure, and you're going to choose a depot that's going to suit where the gondolas come out of because there's a station where they're going to actually be and they're going to come out of here and then feed onto the cable and then off they go. Uh, again, that will be later on a different part to this tutorial. Uh, to get the, we'll turn that back on now to give you the right, uh, the right sort of heading or the right uh, angle for the other towers. Put the building guide station, just hit yes, and those blinds come back up again. Uh, the other thing you want to do is turn on, on this one, turn on the uh, the actual tower itself uh, you need to actually have a the tower on as you see building guide tower hit yes and that sends where the cables are going to come out and if you curve that as you can see by turning altering it's going to go up if you want it to go down you hit the minus key um, so for this obviously we're going to go up here and we're going to put a tower just here uh, just to guide the cable. So we're going to need to curve that a little bit more. Maybe another one. There we are. And the reason why we're doing it first is because you've got to place a, 
a, a tower here and you want the, all the lines to, to, to look right, to look natural. Uh, so if we do that, then you can actually set your next tower and then line up the, the lines going down. Um, and I'll demonstrate that now because it's pretty close. You've got to remember to hit the X button, so you get off that tower. Now we're going to create a new tower, which is under rails, and we're going to select this double tower here. That's the correct width that you'll need for your gondolas. So I'll just click on that button. Now, because this is already coming up with settings, we can turn on, there's a building guide left and a building guide right. So we're going to actually do the building guide here to be able to put this in the correct position and line up the two sets of uh, cables. So we're going to be sending this one down. Now to do that, uh, as you can see, I've gone and uh, selected. So if we select the this, it's going to change the, and you can't quite see it because I've obviously having to use the mouse. Um, you need to change it to the minus key because you've got to send it back down again. So if I do that, then I can just put the, I wonder if I can spin it around a bit. As you can see, I'm just going to have the same angle going down. As you can see, the parallel, well, just about parallel. Not cool. oh, that's pretty close. So we're going to put that in the middle of those blinds and also put it pretty much on the angle of the actual cable. So I'll just put it in line now. As you can see, I'll put the pylon in the middle. And it's probably not going to be too bad there. Uh, you just want to put them just overlap a little bit. And that is pretty close to where it's meant to be. If you need to just zoom up. And you just want to make sure it's just about aligned. That's pretty close. I'm just going to bring it over one just to make sure I don't. And that's probably not too bad a guide. As you can see, they're both angled there. That's great. And um, then you, you come off that one. Um, you probably now to, to make the next one up, you're going to be coming off this side. So you're going to need to set that up as well. So you can turn off the this one down here, just so you don't confuse yourself. Go to configure, go down to the one where it says yes, and turn it off. Zoom back in, as you can see, it's it's now only got this one here. Go into this one, and then you can configure that one and turn it off as well. And now we're just we've we're vacant with all those cables. So this is the tower we're going to be running from now, and we will turn on the other side. So there's a left and right sides. And if you turn on the other side, it shows the continuation coming out from here. Uh, so we're going to do exactly the same thing what we did previously. I will change the position of the angle of those cables by altering it. And look, you're going to fall around with this a little bit uh, just to get it right. Um, you're not going to get it right probably first go. Um, always remember there's going to be a bit of height between the snow and everything. Um, and you can adjust these things later. So if you send that up, I'm now going to place the uh, maybe a midway station in. So the midway station just allows you to have cars go back down or continue on its way. Uh, so that's the midway station or the middle station as they've called it. Now you're going to turn on the left-hand side of this one. Uh, 
you also got to be mindful of the direction but we can worry about that later on with left and right hand direction because you're going to have the cables go one way or the other people get into trouble with that one i believe so uh we're just going to switch now on the uh the side the other side which is the side here to be able to get uh, an idea of where we're going to place these things. So we're going to have to get the angle again right. So we're going to have to change the curvature, B minus, and we change the curvature just to marry up. That's too much. And we could have, I should have taken the, uh, uh, what number it was. Uh, it's probably two, there it is there. And you just place that right in the middle. Gee, that's getting pretty close, isn't it? Uh, it's just got to be in the middle. And we might go back further back up. Now, if you're too low um, and you haven't angled that correctly, like as you can see, I've gone a little bit too... Oh, it's, it's still fairly close. Because we've got to make sure that um, those cables are going to be in the right spot. We'll just try and get it in the middle. As you can see, the pile I'm putting on the middle. And if we can get it fairly close, and it seems to be dropping away. So it's pretty close. I can angle the length of it just to make it look right uh, on the tower. So I could do that, but that's pretty close, I think. So if I, I might need to make an adjustment. It would be a little bit better if I angled those other ones accordingly. Just because we want to get this right. I'm sort of a bit surprised I didn't. Oh, that is still fairly close, right at the top of the of this this mountain here. So we'll just. Uh, Oh, that's pretty close because it's still quite a, quite a bit that I can use. I've got the pylon at the bottom. I'm trying to marry that up so it's just in the right spot. But uh, it's just going to be, yeah, so it's even though I put it there, it's dropping away. And that's getting to be pretty close to it. So we just want to make that really on top of each other. It's probably about there. So it's pretty close. Okay, so then I hit the X button. And as you can see, it's already done. Now we'll continue this with uh, part two of this. And uh, so just go to part two of this tutorial and uh, we'll put the cables in now, just so you can see how it all fits together.